everyone, and welcome back to Sound Science. I'm Dr. Echo. 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 Today's Sound Science standard is, try saying that 10 times fast, sc.7.p.10.3. Recognize that sound waves move at different speeds in different materials. First, we need to understand that sound is produced by vibration, which is the back and forth movement of an object. Sound energy travels in waves. There are two main types of waves, transverse and longitudinal. I have my good friend Slinky here to provide a visual demonstration of these waves for you. This is how transverse waves move. This is how longitudinal waves move. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. When a longitudinal wave moves from right to left, particles move right to left as well. This creates vibrations parallel to the direction of the wave. It's this vibration of particles that push invisible sound waves through different materials. Let's take a look at how sound moves in different materials. In solids, particles are very close together. Sound energy moves as one particle hits another. Because the particles in solids are so close, sound travels the fastest through a solid. In liquids, the particles are slightly further apart, so the sound takes a little longer to pass through liquids. In gases, particles are really spread out. Therefore, sound moves the slowest through a gas. Did you know sound waves can travel in all directions? They can also get reflected and bounce back after hitting a solid surface. This bouncing back is called an echo. Echo, 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 echo. Sound waves are very powerful and visible waves of energy. The standard way of measuring frequency of sound waves is called hertz. A hertz equals one vibration per second. The human ear can perceive between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. Anything above or below we can't hear, but those sound waves are still there because they contain energy. Now I have some cool experiments to show you how sound waves travel through different materials. Let's start with solids. Now let's see how sound moves through liquids. Finally, let's see how sound travels through gas. Mm. Wow, seeing is believing. Now, let's recap what we've learned today. Sound is produced by vibrations. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Sound travels fastest through solids and slowest through gases. Sound waves can travel in all directions. The bouncing back of sound is called an echo. Echo, 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 echo. Thanks for joining me for today's sound science lesson. I'll see you next time.